So for today's exercise I'd like to do something a little different and what I'd like you to do is to go and have a look in your kitchen drawer and come up with half a dozen things that you think look like really interesting shapes and today we're actually going to draw some uh, some real life things rather than just making things up out of our heads but then we're going to use patterns to decorate them in interesting ways and make them look uh, a little different to the boring mundane things that you might just find in a kitchen drawer. So let's go rummage and see what we can find. So here we go, I'm going to draw all of these. Let's start by trying to arrange them in a nice way. So we're going to draw them onto this uh, paper which uh, my sketchbook is A4 size um, but you make an arrangement that fits whatever size book you've got. And then I could do something, put that there and that across there. There we are. I think that could work quite nicely. So for this exercise I'm going to use a pencil again and I like a mechanical pencil but anything will work and then I want a rubber to rub out my pencil marks and then I'm going to use a fine liner pen but you can use any pen that you happen to have. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to be able to create a, a, a version of this on the page. So I want to be able to take the, the big shapes that I've got here and transfer them onto here. And I'm going to do that really roughly to start with with a pencil. I don't want to go right up to the edges of my page, so I'm going to measure in a little way. And I'm going to give myself a bit of a margin. And I'm just sketching that in really, really lightly. You may not be able to see from this distance. I will bring it up closer. And then for each of my items, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. But obviously the, the rolling pin is the biggest one and that's gonna go right from the top to the bottom. So I'm just gonna block in a little rectangle there that I can put my rolling pin into. And then I've got these three utensils in the middle, so I want three rectangles in here for those. I've got my little plant there, which I can mark in. This is a really complex shape, but I just know that it needs to be I've got it on slight an angle, it's going to be in there. I've got this shape which starts with a circle, a bit smaller than the plant, and then it's got a handle on it which comes in here, and I'm going to have that at the same angle there. And then I've got my tin opener at the bottom. So block that in there and then that's where the handle goes like that. Um, you can see I've just created like a rectangle. That's pretty much it. Uh, and then round shapes for the, the round objects. And uh, yeah, that's, that's all I'm going to do right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each object at a time and I'm going to draw a little bit more carefully, a little bit more closely. I'm going to start that again with the pencil um, and then I'm going to go over it all with pen when I'm happy with it. So I'm going to start with the rolling pin and it's got this central section that is pretty much just um, a rectangle. It's slightly wider in the middle than it is at the sides. Um, so I'm going to draw that in here and 
and then at the end each handle is rounded at the end it comes out to a little point here and then it goes in and comes out again so I can draw that by drawing the round bits on the end and having them coming in there and then drawing where I think try and keep them nice and equal I think that's going to be there So there we go, I've got a sketched rolling pin shape there. And I'm going to sketch each of them separately before I put any pen on here. So this is a bit more of a complex shape. So I'm going to start with a handle and it's got a nice curve around there. And then I can draw the slit up the middle of the handle like that. And then the handles come to an end about here. So I can draw that across there. And then we've got the handle here kind of it comes across at a bit of an angle and then curves that way and that side curves that way and do a few lines to get them nice and neat the, there's a line that comes across there and then there's a little circle in there and then at the top it comes in a little way and then there's a, a bottle opener it on here. And then this one, this is quite tricky. It's got lots of parts to it. Let's start with the top. It's got a little curved bit at the top and it comes in like that. And then we'll just do a straight line down here. I know it's got some marks on it. And then it's got like little shoulders come out there with a little screw in it. It comes down down here and it flares out a little way and then I'm just going to do straight across there so to draw a complex shape like this it's really just about breaking it down I've got the corkscrew bit that comes through here and then we've got a nice little circle around each of these bits here on the little shoulders it comes down to some arms that kind of curve out and then there are little knobbly bits on the little shoulders like that so now I'm going to go in with a pen and I'm going to use the pen to refine the, uh, the sketch so I'm going to be really deliberate and do one line but if it goes off, if it goes a bit wonky, it doesn't really matter. If you've got the basic shape of it, your eye will fill in the rest. So don't worry too much about getting it exactly right. Where I did the pencil sketch, I did lots of little sketchy lines like this. And what I can do with the pen is pick the best of those lines. So let's start with this spoon. So you can see there's lots of sketchy lines around here but 
I'm going to be really deliberate with my pen. I'm not going to do little sketchy lines of the pen. I'm going to be really careful and controlled. I'm going to go slowly and I'm going to take it around here. Now you can see here I've got a couple of different lines, so I've got a couple of different options. And I think this line on the inside is a little bit better. So I'm going to take that one. There we go. Now I want to do the handle. So I'm going to try and do something fairly straight and smooth. But I can take my pen off the paper and put it back down again if I'm not sure, or if I want to reposition my hand. And then I'm just going to take it round the end and bring it back down to meet this line here. And the spoon has these little slots in it, three of them. So I'm going to start with the middle one. Let's draw that in. And then I'm going to draw one on either side and try and get the spacing the same and the length the same as well. And then to show that it's a spoon, and it's actually got some depth to it. It's really helpful if I put this line in around here. Now I didn't do a pencil sketch of that. I'm just using my uh, yeah, I'm just using my pen to draw that in. And I'm going to continue that around here as well. I'm not going to draw it in all the way around, just in a couple of spaces, and it'll look more spoon-like. So now I'm going to go around and do all of the uh, other utensils in exactly the same way. So this is our basic contour drawing done and you may be wondering where the pattern's going to come in. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to decorate this. So it's, it's looking quite, um, quite simple at the minute, but we're going to add some pattern to it uh, in ways that the original items don't have. What we're going to do first, before we get any further though, is rub out all of those pencil lines. And if you drew them nice and lightly, you should be able to rub them out without seeing any of them anymore. So here is our drawing looking a lot neater and a lot cleaner, but we're going to add some interest into it. And we're going to do that by using some of the patterns that we drew in our pattern grid exercise. If you did that on Monday, if you didn't, don't worry. There's plenty of patterns out there that you can make up on the spot or that you can copy from mine. It's entirely up to you which patterns you use. And uh, yeah, this is where we get to have fun and play with this a little bit. So I'm going to start with the spatula and I'm going to use one of our grid patterns that we did. I'm just going to start by drawing lines at a 45 degree angle. Now when we get to these gaps, I don't want to draw the patterns through there, so I want to make sure that I jump over the gaps, trying to keep my lines nice and parallel. And you know, I quite like it like that, so I think I might leave it there. I can always come back to it later on if I change my mind. So I think I'm going to do this little tea strainer. Now, the strainer itself actually has some mesh in it. So it might be good to do something that uh, looks a bit like that mesh. And it would replicate the pattern that we put up here on the spatula as well. But we'll make it slightly different. So I think I'm going to do a nice little pattern 
the scallops around the outside. So let's do this cake slice. And I want to make this quite fancy and quite decorative. So I think for the, uh, for the actual uh, uh, slice bit of the cake slice, I think I'm going to do some nice scallops like this. If you, it helps to start in the center of one scallop and then go to the side. It can help you work out where your uh, lines should start. So I think just for the handle, I think I'm just going to do some little spots. There we go. Now I would love to have a cake slice like that. If anyone would like to make me one, I would be very happy. And so here's my finished kitchen drawer items, nicely decorated and much more interesting than the actual objects from my actual kitchen drawer. Now you could annotate this if you want and write on what everything is. That's quite a nice thing to do. I'm not going to do that because my handwriting is absolutely terrible. So I really look forward to seeing your kitchen drawer drawings and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.